up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you uh, my favorite and wildly unpopular Pokemon-based internet show. Big League Theater. All right, so another episode of Fake League Theater. Uh, I know I was gone for a couple days, but um, I well Tuesday I had something I had to do, and then Wednesday, uh, the storm knocked out the power and the internet. So, well, nothing I can do about that. But we back though, <laughs> and I got some, uh, some pretty interesting leaks here today. Uh, so three leaks. One is uh, a very interesting looking Fue Coco leak. I mean, not Fue Coco. I keep saying Fue Coco. A very interesting looking Sprigatito leak. Um, another one is another is a um, a 4chan leak from a disgruntled Nintendo employee. Uh, and then the third one is actually from the Japanese internet itself. So, uh, this popped up on Reddit, and they got it from the Japanese internet, so I'm like, okay, that's interesting. It's got some interesting takes on the starters that we're going to talk about. Of course, if you like videos like this, you want to continue getting videos like this from me, hit uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, and do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Uh, as well as uh, follow me on Twitter at rsmario.com, uh, twitter.com slash rsmario. One of these days, I'm going to have to make a website because my brain just keeps wanting to to give people my fictional website. Uh, twitter.com slash rsmario128. If you like my video tweet, I will shout you out at the end of the video. Uh, all right, well, let's get on into this. So starting off, we have an interesting Sprigatito leak. It looks like people have really got into making Sprigatito Final Evolutions now. I've, I've probably covered a bunch of them on this show overall. And this one is uh, is definitely interesting. I mean, it, it's definitely fake because I can tell the, the eye design looks a little weird. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look like symmetrical, but the design overall is interesting. Now this does go against what we've heard about this Pokemon as that is going to be bipedal and not quadrupedal. This is definitely a quadruped. You can see over here on the, 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 the like corner right hand side. You can see it's definitely a quadruped. So it's not a uh, bipedal. But it does look interesting though. It does look interesting. It definitely reminds me of a Lynx or what a Lynx Pokemon would look like. Um, you know, Lynx do have big kind of distinctive cat ears. You know, it's interesting. It, it gives me kind of a Cheshire Cat vibes. If you remember Cheshire Cat from uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good though. All right, so now we have uh, our first 4chan uh, tech, well, our 4chan text dump of the video. So uh, this one comes from Pissed Off Translator. I had, uh, a Pissed Off Translator here. Nintendo sucks and I hate my job right now. Okay. By saying you're a translator, uh, you pretty much reveal like what department you work in because, you know, so that's kind of weird. Uh, you guys want leaks? Obviously, I can't go into much detail, but the new games have their content split between groups uh, for translation to make it much easier to find and eliminate leakers. I kind of doubt that as well. Uh, the only reason why they were separated in the groups is translating in different languages but you know either way i mean actually that's not that's not a bad idea but i don't think it's what they're doing uh even so i think i might have quite a bit of information to share so i feel so feel free to ask if there's anything you'd like to know based off game content i mean hmm. so base game content all, has already been cut to sell as DLC later. Eevee's Ghost and Bug Evolutions are part of the DLC content. Lechonk evolves based on gender, uh, makes pretty much, make, makes pretty much, makes pretty much, why do people, the grammar be killing me, man. I'd be like, I know I can read, man. Makes pretty much just bigger. But females turn into an Egyptian waifu man that bears a resemblance to the, to the initial stage apart from the face. Okay. 
It might seem weird to some, but the males are quadruped and the females are bipedal and they can still breed. No, that doesn't seem weird at all. Like, have you have you ever seen a donkey show? Quadruped, quadrupeds and bipeds can breed just fine. You know, but uh, yeah, man, like, well, why would it be Egyptian? There's no reference in the original Pokemon to Egypt. So why would, I don't even think there's like, are there references to pigs in Egypt? I mean, modern day Egypt, they're mostly Muslim. So I don't think they'll be pigs, or like they're big on pigs over there. I don't really see a reference to Egypt in LeChunk. You know what I'm saying? I, I could be wrong, but I don't know. That, that seems weird. Evolutions, for starters, were given to separate teams this time. Volcamian, okay, that's actually a pretty interesting name. Volcamian is what we got. We can probably guess which, you can probably guess which one that is. It's, it's got a cartoonish skull mask, as well as wings and frills that glow and light up when it's in battle but bears a resemblance to the leaks apart from the last bit nothing else to my knowledge has been leaked correctly so far gotta hand it to game freak for running such a tight ship this time i mean as far as translations go what how much translation do you need for a single pokemon other than its name and its Pokédex entry. I mean, because Pokémon don't talk outside of, you know... I mean, in the show, when their cry is like part of their name, but in the games, Pokémon don't talk. So why would you need a separate translation team for different Pokémon? Other than just its name and its Pokédex entry. It's a little weird. Uh, main, the main rival and professors are not villains, despite what some people might believe. They're just different for the sake of it. Half of the past and future elements are just de decoration. These game, in these games, the main villains have very little to do with the story, since you can complete the open world in any way their missions have to be glorified filler to work. I, and that, that, that I can definitely see being possible. I mean, because one of the things with Pokemon being linear is like, you know, it, they can set up where story elements take place. You know, because you have to go that way. You have to go through that story bit. Or since you have to go to Mount Moon, you have to meet Team Rocket and fight them for the fossil. and. You have to find the flute to get past Snorlax and finding the flute takes you into this story. But because it's open world, they can't necessarily do that because again, it's open. So you can go wherever you want in whatever order. So I can see that as being a possibility. Um, uh, I'm gonna call fake on all of this. Some of it sounds interesting, but it, it sounds very convoluted. Not to mention uh, if, if they broke up the parts of the game amongst different translation groups to find leakers and then you say that you translated uh you know Sprigat you say you translated Fue Coco and you're translating the, the gimmick for the game they're gonna know what group you're in and so you they know that somebody in this group leaked it so <laughs> yeah I'll call fake on this uh, and then we have the last one. This one comes from Reddit. So this one comes from the official, uh, the straight up uh, r slash Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Reddit. It's actually pretty cool over there. They actually have some cool fan art, some cool discussions. But occasionally they get a fake leak or a leak from uh, time to time. And this one popped up. So this one uh, are Japanese rumor and started Evo. So these actually come from Japanese, the Japanese internet. So Japanese rumors, what I'm sharing here has uh, shown, has been shown. Wow, what is up with grammar in the internet, man? Has been shown on several sites. I could figure out which uh, site it originated from. 
or I couldn't figure out. Okay, Springatito's second stage is Neohana, uh, and the third stage is Brusarion. Okay, highest base stats out of the three. Uh, third uh, out of the three, high speed and high special attack. Its hidden ability is Protean. Now that's interesting. If so, that's kind of lit. So if you don't know what Protean is, Protean is, uh, I believe it's, um, um, it's, uh, Greninja's hidden ability. And what Protean does is Protean essentially allows you, whenever you do a move, it transforms your Pokemon, that Pokemon's type into that moves type so you always have stab so if like when 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 uh greninja used like gunk shot it turns into a poison type first and then uses gunk shot so it can have the stab it's, it's actually a lot like liber liberio which is the ability for uh the fire rabbit in generation seven so you know but it's interesting if they give Protean to, uh, to Sprigatito's evolution, which that would kind of co be confirmed by uh, what uh, Riddler Q said, because he, he did say that, you know, Sprigatito has a god level ability, and Protean is kind of broken, no lie. Uh, especially if the Pokemon has high speed, because if you have a high speed stat, that means that you can pull off Protean stab moves probably quicker than a lot of other Pokemon. So. That's that's probably kind of lit. Uh, Fuecoco's second stage is is Honogatsu, and the third stage is Homo Homo Gudora Homo Gudora, which okay. Uh, hugest stat is attack. I I'm hoping that was going to say highest, but okay. Hugest stat is attack. Speed is terrible. Hidden move is strong jaw, which. That's not too bad. I mean, especially if it, if it has pretty good defenses. Like, having high attack and low speed is not a bad thing. Uh, and, unless your defenses are low. Or you have, like, bad typing. Like, if this thing turns out to be, like, you know, fire ground. And it's got a 4x weakness to water. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying, it's got low speed. Yeah, you're pretty much getting outsped by both water Pokemon. You're going to lose but uh, high attack and strong jaw, that could be a nice little combination. Uh, and then we have uh, Kiwumaizu is the second stage of Quaxley. And then uh, Kua, 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 Kua Ramada, uh, switch hitter for the highest stats being attack and special attack. And his hidden ability is scrappy. I cannot remember for the life of me what Scrappy does. Hold on, I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to look it up. So Scrappy causes ghost type Pokemon to be hit with normal moves and fighting moves inflicted by the owner. Okay, so basically it means you can hit ghost type Pokemon with normal and fighting moves. Okay, I mean, that's interesting. I mean, I guess it works if Fue, if Fue Coco does turn out to be a fire ghost. It will make Fue Coco arguably one of the weakest Pokemon in, in the trio because Quaxley will be able to co completely wreck him. But yeah, so that's about it for this one. I think this actually is close to being somewhat real because, I mean, Riddler Q has already pretty much said that Spring Tito is going to be pretty powerful with its ability. So. I don't know. I think this could be real. It could be fake, though. I mean, it's coming through the Japanese internet, so it's not just coming off of 4chan. Uh, but that's about it. What do you think about this in the comments? Uh, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, keep it real.